Yo, oh, what's up? Today we are popping seeds. This is gelato sorbet from DNA Genetics. Gelato sorbet is a cross between gelato 33 and sorbet. Sorbet is rumored to be a phenotype of Sunset Sherbert. Sunset Sherbert is one of the lineage, uh, one of the parents of gelato. So it's kind of like a back cross, but specifically if they use gelato 33, it's the very specific phenotype of gelato that is very sought after. And sorbet would probably be a very sought after phenotype of the Sunset Sherbert. So it's kind of an interesting back cross of gelato, if you ask me, or a back cross of Sunset Sherbert. I don't know. And all of this information I just gave you could very well be wrong because I'm not an expert. So in either case, it is authentic DNA genetics. So I thought, you know, I just finished growing this eight top gelato. If you haven't seen it, go check out the videos, the pictures, check it out, it's, um, great. So that was from ILGM. So just in comparison, when you get seeds from ILGM, they come in a little baggie like this. This is what ILGM seeds come like. So I got some gelato seeds from ILGM. I've grown it a couple times. Not the biggest fan of, of, of the profile. I've previously grown gelato 33 clones um, from local dispensaries. Very good, loved it. Specifically, the cuts from Dark Heart Nursery. Very good. Um, Dark Heart Nursery. Um, let's see, what else? What else? So I know that Gelato 33 works very well for me from my previous experience with growing it. It works extremely well medically, and it, it hits all the notes for me flavor-wise, and it just works. However, the most recent grows that I've grown from seed... Um, they didn't really do what I wanted. They didn't really get what I wanted. I had fun growing, don't get me wrong. It's a therapeutic experience. However, the actual um, strain wasn't really what I was hoping for. So, to see that this is Gelato 33, back crossed with Sorbet, this has me excited. So today we're gonna go ahead and we are going to germinate one of these seeds. I say one because this is a three pack. It's a three pack of feminized seeds. And let's see if I can open it. It's a three pack. Roughly they were about $11 a seed. They come in a little vial like this. Can it, can we focus on it? There it is. So, what we're going to do to germinate this is we are going to take a plastic bag like this and we're going to take a paper towel like this and we're going to fold the paper towel in half like that. We're going to then open this up and slide that right in like that. You notice how it fits and we're able to close the thing and everything. Perfect. We're then going to take some fresh mountain spring water. Open that. We're just going to pour that in there. Let it kind of get around. So basically when we close this, the moisture should sort of equalize. I'm going to add a little bit more water and I'm going to try to get this to equalize out. All right, there we go. I went ahead and added a little bit more water. Uh, there's a little bit of excess water in here, very little amount. If we uh, look right there, there's yeah, just a little tiny amount of excess water, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do now, let's just set that off to the side, and let me put the lid back on here, and let's write down the date and the time. So today is one, nine at it's not a really good at symbol but that's fine i think it was 2 p.m and this is gelato sorbet There we go. So now we're going to take one seed, 
because I had really good experience, really good luck last time doing one single DNA cake. And I want to see if we have the same sort of good experience doing one single seed here. Maybe I should have been using gloves. It's all right. Just set the seed there, right on the dirty table. Now we're gonna try to get in here and open this up because there's a fold right here, right? Can I get the fold? I'm trying to get in between the fold. Can I get in between the fold? Jesus. All right, so that took like 20 minutes. Um, I paused it, but we're back. So now I'm in between the fold, all right? So I'm gonna take that seed right there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. I'm just gonna drop it in there. So there it is. There's a seed in there now. Now, if you look carefully, you can see the seed right there. That's it. Now I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna close it up and I'm gonna put it on a, uh, in a hot space. The warm, dark, you want to put it in a warm, dark place. That could be like on top of your computer. That could be on top of your refrigerator. I actually have a seed starting mat. I'm going to put it on top of the seed starting mat. And I'm going to put a little um, bucket, a little uh, container on top of it upside down to keep it dark. Um, but you can put it wherever you have that is warm and dark. And we're going to check on it tomorrow in about 24 hours. We might check on it in 12 hours. No, probably not. Probably not at 2 a.m. But we'll check on it tomorrow. And um, we'll check on it again the day after and we'll see if we have a tail. I'm about to start more seeds, so stay tuned for another video where I'm about to start some of these Purple Kush seeds. And yeah, peace out, much love. Thank you for watching.